To change the uh, inline filter, the water separator, first of all, put a nappy, a disposable nappy underneath in case of uh, any spillage. Then the next thing to do is turn off the fuel like that. Okay, so that you don't want to lose too much fuel. And then it's a simple case of doing this if it's a bit tough you might need to use one of these just to loosen it here it goes As you can see there's a lot of uh, fuel coming out at the bottom okay because it's full of fuel to put the new one back uh, on just going to put that down there for now um, Get a bit of the uh, fuel that you've just been putting on and moisten the the uh, seal, the felt, the uh, the rubber seal, so that you'll be able to undo it again easily when you get this one off. You need to do this about once a year. Then you fill it up, hold it up, spin it on again. it just touches so that was about there and then about another half a turn and that should uh, stay fuel tight last thing to do is switch the fuel back on back at the tank again which you switched off to start with and what you want now is for this to fill up with fuel from the inlet pipe here. And to do that, you've got to get rid of the air on the uh, bleed valve at the top here. So you just undo that. You can see that's bubbling, bubbling the fuel out. I can hear it as well. It's filling up the uh, container, the uh, filter with the fuel. When it's full, when it's full, it should just be pure diesel coming out and not bubbles. Still filling. Still filling. I can still hear it bubbling. Oops. There we go. That's it. Pure fuel. So now just lock it off again. So it's tight. And that's the inline fuel filter done. Okay, easy as that. And it's uh, once a year at the start of the season.